everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, before I get into what I'm doing today, um, I wanted to show you a few things that I've been working on. And I think it was in my last video I mentioned um, going to my local Target store and getting a clock kit and a little wooden jewelry box. And I've given you those ideas for... Um, uh, upcoming Christmas gifts and so I wanted to show you I've been working on these um, these are six by six ceramic tiles and I have three out here that I, I will show you and what I do is a uh, first I I paint I paint the top of them and then um, I did resin them and I was lucky enough to get by with one coat of resin this time. And then what I do is on the back, I painted them white and then I put these little felt pads that I found at my local uh, dollar store. I think there were eight of them for $2. And these tiles I got at uh, a chain hardware store and I think they were, four, I wanna say 48 cents a piece. And what I do is I sell these as trivets. And so this is another idea uh, for a gift. Uh, if you have someone on your list that's, uh, you know, kind of hard to buy for. And it is a, a really nice uh, homemade gift. And by resining it, it can take the, like a hot pan or, or anything hot that you do uh, lay on it. So just wanted to give you a few more ideas that I've, that I've had. So let's get started with today's project. I have a 12 by 16 staple back canvas and I'm going to do a spiral swipe. And um, I got the inspiration for this from Jilly Cube. And as I've mentioned in previous videos also, I've been watching a lot of Jilly Q. She does a lot of swipes. And I think I did watch, oh, maybe um, within the last week or so, she did do a spiral swipe. So let's go over my colors. And all the, all the paints I'm using today um, were leftover paints. So from different projects but I was able to remember how I mixed them. So my first color is Artist Select Cadmium Yellow Light Hue, and I mixed that 50-50 with Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. My next color is Liquitex Basics Deep Green Permanent, and again, I mixed that 50-50 with the Artist Loft White. My next color is Artist Select Cadmium Red Medium Hue. And for the next color, I, I made a reddish orange color and I mixed that Artist Select Red with Artist Loft Orange, 50-50. My next color is Liquitex Basics uh, Thalo Blue. And my next color is Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. And my last color is the Artist Loft uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue. Um, all of the paints have one or two drops of Spot On Treadmill in them today. So I will be getting some cells, I think. So let's get started. I think I'll just, and I, I, I think I will start with just a, a little dab of white in the middle. And unfortunately, I don't have all my paints today in, a, in squirt bottles, which would have made it a lot easier. So, just have to do our best here. Thank you. 
And I will be tipping this to try and cover the whole canvas. And my swipe color today is going to be the red. This is that reddish orange I was telling you about. Every once in a while you just you just need to use up those leftover paints and I did forget a few things. Um, pour medium is two parts Floetrol, one part paint and I did talk about the silicone already and consistency Here's my swipe color. It doesn't even leave a mound. Get a little more yellow in there. Finish up the metallic blue, I'm sorry, green. And I will pass on to you any other um, projects that I see that may be good gifts to give for really any occasion. And like I've said in my previous video, I just, if I can give a personal gift, that makes me feel better. a little bit of this light minty green left here. And I have a little bit of the blue left, just a little bit.
Okay. I'm going to tip a little bit here. Okay, most of the canvas is covered here. Now I'm going to use my red, and Julie has been using just a very, very little bit of her swipe color lately, and I'm gonna try that just little bit here okay and I'm going to be using this little tool just want to lay it down and not press but just guide it I do try and replace that paint if, if it comes off the edge there. I'm going to t turn my canvas around here so I can reach the other, reach this side a little better.
few more swipes here. This little tool I'm using is again something that um, I watched Jilly make. Very easy, just what you clean your bottom of your canvas off with and then you just tape a piece of uh, rigid plastic onto it and it makes a pretty nice swipe tool. Okay, I think I got it all. And I will have to um, clean up my edges here. And now I'm going to torch it. Okay, clean off the bottom here. Fix up the side a little bit here. Okay. I, I really like how this turned out. Amazing. Lots and lots of different cell action going on here. I just filled in a little bit where it got missed on the canvas. Here and there. And I think sometimes uh, the silicone will do that. So I'll get you down for a close-up and you can let me know what you think. Okay, this is the upper left hand corner. And I will get try and get you in as close as I can so you can just see all the craziness going on here. I think I'll call I'll call this painting the bomb. That orange cell there. 
It almost looks like it has fractals around the edge of it. And this is the uh, lower left hand corner. I'll just kind of go up the middle here. I really wasn't looking for this much cell action today. I only put like one drop, one or two drops in in the paints, mostly one, but it, it just really, really reacted. It's really neat in there with that blue and yellow. In this red and yellow, that's really nice. That's pretty cool right there too. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up or like if you like this video. Share. Subscribe if you haven't. It helps sub placement of our YouTube channel. And make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great weekend and take care. Bye.